Hey, orange one here. So uh, we got our friend Harvey uh, some mutagen. I spent a little while between the last episode and this one just crafting a ton of mutagen. And so we're going to just start us off with him taking it. So it's, um, we're just going to do it all at once and we'll, we'll deal with it later. We're going to do um, the beast serum first and then the earth sign serum and just go bananas with that and see what you get. So if we look... It looks like you destroyed some clothes. Okay. Um, great. <laughs> I think it was the freakishly huge that destroyed the clothes. Um, feline eyes, smelly, heavy sleeper, fast metabolism, junk food. Okay, there's a ton of stuff that happened here. We got earth sign ears, apparently, and then we got resilient. I think resilient is one of the ones I was really hoping to get. And then we got freakishly huge, which is also great. Um... Earth sign muzzle, I think, is also pretty good. Long fingernails is pretty good. And calm mind. I don't know what calm mind does, actually. Uh, so I think that uh, our friend here just became a absolute beast. Oh my god, look at that strength. 18. He has 18 strength. What was it, 11 beforehand? Which I think was originally 9. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, they got a little bit more perception, which is good, because they're not very perceptive otherwise. Um, I think that might have canceled out his night vision. No, no, he still has night vision. It's not as good. Um, I mean, that, that I think, could bite with it. Um, so I think that actually gives us some more attacks. So he's got a muzzle. Does he have horns? No, he's just got the head bumps still. Well, the horns wouldn't come from the Ursine mutation tree anyways. Um, so he's like basically this like bear, cow, person, beast thing that also has long finger nails. Uh, how's your... I'm just kind of curious as to what you look like now. Because um, I'm pretty sure you're essentially naked. Um, you're back in your um, prisoner's garb stuff because you've ripped through all of our other armor. So it looks to me like you're kind of a little hairy too, though. That's kind of cool. It's It does bother me, though, that he doesn't look freakishly large. Um, and I think the freakishly huge prevents you from getting in vehicles. You cannot usefully fit into these vehicles. Does that actually prevent you from getting in? No, it does not. So he actually can still get into vehicles, so I don't know if that's because um, he's not a player character or what. Uh, let's have a look at your armor. Yeah, he's basically naked now. He's got, like, nothing on. So we need to look into getting you, like, a survivor suit or something. Um, so let's look at the suits. We're going to want this. This is really what we want. It's just going to take a long time for us to get the gear to do that. Um, I might be able to swing by with that. But in any case, we have a lot of stuff that he's going to need crafted. Um, I don't think that I can even have him put on anything right now. And he could wear the holy symbol. And it's Snuggy. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I think it's safe to say that he's not going to be getting into combat anytime soon. And my cat just jumped on my, my lap, so we'll try and, and do what we can with that. Um, but I think we're going to try and get in, kill some zombies, and is that a... No what the heck? Okay, I don't think I'm going to go for that one right now. Because I want to work on getting better gear for our friend here. But we do need to go check that out. That is insane. Like, seriously, I was just saying recently how I'd never find those things, and now I've gone and found another one. Okay. I think our Kevlar gear we're pretty unlikely to get from these buildings, but we might be able to get actually a decent amount of Kevlar from this firefighter um, truck. If I look in here, what do we have around? Yeah, look at all that. That's seriously, though, like that's uh, by itself. Probably going to be a good chunk of what we need for crafting this stuff for Harvey. Um, I do probably want to get on our like backpack, though. We do actually have an MBR vest. That's interesting. I didn't realize that we had that. Um, 
hiking backpack. That's what I want. Yep. Let's see, I'm just going to take all of this, honestly. And we'll see what is actually useful crafting-wise and what we can break down for parts. Um, let's see if I'm trying to do that XL survivor suit. Sorry, my cat is like being really annoying right now. She's like on my arms. You know when cats like lay on your arms like, yeah, you, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing. Why don't you just hang out with me? That's what she's doing right now. Uh, so we need two MBR vests that are empty. We have at least one on us um or we could do the kevlar plates hello cat now you're just jamming your your back into my neck i i know <laughs> hello i'm sorry if she's knocking the mic she might be knocking the mic a little bit there um this is like seriously the most ridiculous thing messy um what was i trying to do i was trying to craft you armor and I want to look at our MBR. Because we have... Oh, it looks like we actually have two of them right here. We just need to empty those out. Um, unload. I can't unload it. Is it like an activation thing? Or like what? What, what do I need to do? Not activate. Uh, oh, activate is to put things in it. Is it? Oh, it's disassemble. That's what I needed to do. Right. Okay. So we got our vests. Uh, one of them needs to be cleaned. Uh, wash. Where's our wash kit? We got a wash kit in here somewhere, don't we? Yeah, right there. Can you hear my cat purring? Because she's really close to the mic. She's just like kind of like behind it. I mean, let's see if I can move her in front of the mic. Can you hear that? It looks like you can't. So I think her purr is just a little bit too quiet. I'm um, sorry. I'm like totally being distracted by my adorable cat. Uh, so let's see the suit that we're trying to build. I'm actually going to favorite this. Uh, we got the vests. We got like, I'm, I feel a little bit wasteful. Uh, not bringing all of this Kevlar gear back to base, so I think I am gonna, if I can, if the game lets me, um, just dump some of it here, if I have the storage capacity, which I might not. I think I do, though. Uh, the helmet, the hood, suit, gauntlets, gloves, yeah, all of that stuff's pretty good. All that's good for us to have extras of, because we're probably going to have to make more of this gear is what I'm thinking uh, down the road. Sorry, uh, the XL suit is... what else do we need? Oh, we need our welder or soldering iron. With both of those we have back at camp, or we could easily craft another one, I think. So I need leather patches on a lot of them, and rags, and some like windbreakers. Okay, let's check out these houses. I bet, I mean, the rags I've got right here. I've got enough rags just from, like, these windows. Like, honestly. If I just take these sheets and rip them up, I'll have, I'll have all that I need. The difficult part is going to be the leather. Um, I think we're going to have to get that from clothing, because uh, they've... Or actually... I'm pretty sure I disassembled uh, some seats recently and they gave me rags. Oh, look at that. Where did you come from? i definitely like to shoot you. Because you're going to actually be kind of hard to hit. There we go. Leather, leather, leather. I mean, those belts actually that we have right now, that's, that's um, some leather. Actually, that's five leather patches. That's not insignificant um we need how many we need 40 well i mean we're gonna need a lot more than that <laughs> it's the thing let's just have a look and see if i can find some leather clothing if not we'll get off of like the zombies that we've been killing like see the leather chaps right there that's perfect 
These houses can have some leather. This pair of heels is made from leather. And look at that. There's some leather right there. Perfect. And I think those are leather gloves. Right? Wow. I think actually we may have enough leather right here. There's tons of it. That suitcase probably would have leather in it, wouldn't it? We're going to just cut up all these things as much as the game lets us, and I think we'll have our 40 leather. Oh, what's this in, in here? A secret room? It's, it's locked. Um, I kind of want to get in there. There's probably, like, guns or something. There's probably not leather. <laughs> Which is what we're really going for. Uh... I don't know why I'm even checking the kitchen contents. Let's get out of here and we'll do our thing. Um, anything that might have leather... Actually, I, I should just uh, mass dump these. And I think I'm going to do the sheets as well because we're going to need those. Um, cut up everything. There's 24, oh, 34 leather patches, is that? I mean, hold on. Where did they all go? Okay, there they are. I just wasn't seeing them. For some reason, that was kind of strange. Why am I not picking up all the leather patches? Oh, I think I was, like, clicking a button kind of weird. Okay, cat, you're, like, going on the keyboard now. I gotta move you. I'm sorry. Forgive me for my crimes against your adorableness. Um, we are literally one leather patch away. Do I have a belt in here? I thought I had a belt, maybe. If I have a tool belt, that'll do. And you can actually craft kind of useful stuff with that, but... Oh, wow, that actually gave me quite a few leather, leather patches there. Um, let's see, so the suit here now... I think we're actually... We're getting closer. No, that's the wrong suit. I want the XL Survivor suit. We got the rags, we got the leather, we got the scrap metal. Uh, we need pouches. And windbreakers or parkas or raincoats or something like that. Do I not have anything like that? I think that we might dirty. Um, have something that falls in that category. Oh, I've got a raincoat. Do I need two of those? I think we need two of those. Yeah, I think we, we're going to need two of those. Um, suit right here. If we look here, it says one of two. So emergency jacks, it gut skin parkas, windbreakers. Can I make any of those things? Can I make a rain jacket? A raincoat? I can, actually. It actually takes a fair amount of time, but faster than me, IRL, looking for it. So we'll do that. It's just so much easier. Um, and then the suit, we've got... Coats, yes, looks good. I need pouches and like thread. And like sinew. I think I probably could unload like a sewing kit or something and then have enough. Um I think I have a sewing kit around here somewhere. No. Is it my tailoring? Is it a tailoring kit? What is it? Oh, our tailoring kit's actually pretty much out, so I think. Yeah, we should be able to get this crafted. Um, but I th how many pouches did it need? I think it was it was at least two pouches, maybe even four. Oh man. That's annoying, sorry. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> there you go. That projectile actually destroyed that thing pretty nicely. Uh, I might want to just kill these zombies. Yeah, they're coming my way now that I fired that gun. 
Yeah, come over here. Oh, did I? Whoops, it's on auto. Maybe that's uh, why I destroyed that one zombie so bad. Whoops. That wasn't my perk that does that, was it? I think that was actually just like the randomness. Hello. Hello, the survivor zombie. The former survivor zombie. Yeah, I actually don't even have our stuff in our pouches, which I should. Yeah, this Night Stalker is gonna get out pretty soon. I'm, if I go here, you should be able to get out through the trunk, right? Yeah, you'll come running towards me, actually. You won't get, you won't get all the way to me, but you'll, you'll make your way. Is that Rottweilers that are coming over here? I think that, that was a bunch of Rottweilers that were coming down. Yeah. That's what it looks like. I was just judging by the speed. It's kind of crazy that I've gone to the point where I can judge the speed the enemies are coming at and kind of know what's what's what on the lower screen. Uh, I hate these corrosive zombies so much. They always manage to hurt you. Luckily, it's gone to the point where it doesn't really matter. But I hate them so much in the mid early game when you're just like you're just trying to live your life, you know? And these corrosive zombies come out of nowhere. And they just like damage you and put you in pain. And then you're like, okay, well I guess that that uh, scavenging run is over, you know? Okay, so we wanted to just dismember these guys. Um, and then I am a little bit curious because I think we just need a few more things to craft. I know I should deal with those corrosive guys. It's just not going to let me right now because they're, you know, corrosive. Okay, let's go ahead and just reload a little bit again. And then um, let's have a look at that suit recipe. And we need two more pouches and a lot more thread and actually rags. So I need two more pouches. And two. I got tons of rags here. Uh, the thread... I think we're gonna want to get from like string and stuff. If I look at like yeah, like the long string that fell here and there should give me enough thread, right? If I take all of these, and I am gonna take all those sheets as well. We're most of the way there, though. We should be able to. Um, very soon have this really good armor for our, our friend here. All those sheets are gonna go. Long strings as well. Disassemble everything once. Yeah, it's fine. As long as those enemies are not like, you know, smashing on our car, then I'm okay. Like, we just need these cameras to not get damaged, essentially. Um, and do we have enough for the suit? No, we do not. Oh, I need the soldering iron. Right, okay. Um, soldering iron. I need a glow plug or two electronic scraps. I can get the scraps from, like, cameras or whatever. Uh, let's see. What if I do C, uh, tools? Spare? Oh no, I'm looking at my inventory. Uh, I bet if I just look for cameras. Yep, there's one. I'll take two just in case. And where are they? Let's drop it. Or I bet that we... Oh yeah, we can totally disassemble them. Good. Cool. That should be more than enough to make my soldering iron. Yes, that's more than enough. Great. Um... Just go ahead and wear the gun. Got the soldering iron, which is wielded, and then we can reload that. I think we're gonna want more battery power than that, right? Yeah, actually it looks like it only goes up to 150. 
Um, so I think, yeah, we can actually craft this. It's just going to take a reload in the soldering iron. Oh, it's going to take me 14 hours. Okay, well, it's gonna, we're going to need to take a break anyways then, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> but we'll, we'll have a, a really good set of basic armor for him. We should also probably work on like a helmet and some other stuff, though. Um, I don't know about the mask. The mask is probably way down the road. Though the firefighter gear, I, I need to check that out. That could have some good stuff for doing that. Okay, let's go ahead and close these and we'll turn on our lights and do the crafting like that. Uh, work on craft. Where is our craft? Uh, soldering iron should be reloaded. Yep. And then we'll continue working on that, right? You can no longer make that craft. I, I don't believe so. I believe I can continue to make the craft. What's on the ground? Okay, that's the craft. That's the craft is on the ground. Uh, activate it. Yes. Yeah, go ahead and keep that in the inventory. That should be fine. Is there actually? I think it will go faster if we can do the craft on the table. Isn't that how it works? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So let's just take our stuff off the table. It doesn't need to be on there. And I'm going to put the craft on there and work on it. Nope, it's too big for the table, it looks like. Yeah, actually it takes up 37, whereas the table... Oh. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fit it on there. Okay. That's kind of silly. I wonder if I'm getting the speed bonus from having the table nearby. It's probably not being applied, but you never know. Uh, what happened? Y your in-progress craft lied to you. That Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's have our tea. That was actually from the last episode, wasn't it? We'll have a little wine, too. Did I eat my sandwich? I think we ate our sandwich. You can have another sandwich. We're not gonna bother with the fact that it's, like, the same ingredients. It's fine. Um, and then... Where is it? Oh, I dropped it on the ground, huh? Yep. Man, once we have this and like a good helmet for our cow person, I'm pretty excited to see how they do in, in actual combat. I mean, with the amount of health that they have. Oh, hold on, what's that? Something really wants to get in here. Like, really wants to get in here. Um, let's go see what it is, huh? Oh, also, let's just charge up just a little bit more. I think that our car has been having a hard time with power because I've been draining so much of it. And I'm just realizing it's the middle of the night we're trying to craft. We should probably be resting. Oh, you're an ethereal. Oh, and there's also those corrosive ones that we need to deal with. Well, let's just shoot you. I'll deal with you. I bet the corrosives, they may have, yeah, they've gone and gotten back up. Oh man, it's, it's on auto again. How did that happen? It happened like multiple times now, actually. Okay, well, he took care of them. And we don't want to have to deal with that again, so... I think I'm going to actually take the time to move them over then. To like a, a new spot that I can actually shoot them at. Or not shoot them. Um, uh, dismember. Yeah, let's just uh, take care of these corrosive guys. They're just, you know, they're more trouble than they're worth. I should have dealt with that last night. Just wasting all my bullets. And my stamina. Uh, 
And then actually we probably want to, yeah, we, we got the bullets down here. Um, is that everything reloaded then? And I really can't see anything, huh? Yeah, it's really dark. So I think uh, I'm going to turn off the cameras and just have her character go to sleep for a little bit. Oh yeah, don't need that on. Or that. I mean, really, we don't need that on either. And yeah, we'll go to sleep. And we'll deal with things when we get up. I think we'll continue crafting once it's light and use uh, the daylight. Um, east, I'm hearing crash. Can I actually just wear my earplugs? Because we're probably going to have multiple things, just like smashing buildings near us. Northwest, I'm hearing crash. Okay, now I know that I'm just hallucinating. Those aren't real crashes. That's the hard thing about Nosh is that this character hallucinates so much, I never know when I really do have to worry. Or when I'm just like, ah, you're just being paranoid there, Nosh. God, I'm so excited, though, to have our Calbian. I've been waiting for that since Bessie fell in battle. I've been like, where's my battle bovine? I need them. I need them back in my life. Man, we really were tired, and yeah, we are, it looks like we're going to be losing some weight by the sounds of it. Though, I mean, I have so much food back at base, I think it would be fine if we do end up being a little bit skinny. Okay, now it's it's probably a good time to wake up. Any minute now. Come on, Nosh. Wakey, wakey, get up from your nap. Um, okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Anybody outside? Oh, oh. Yes, there's somebody outside. And I immediately started the day off by getting corrosive acid poured onto us. Great. Uh, am I just not getting audio right now, or no? I am. I am getting audio. It was just kind of quiet. Um. Do I see? Yeah, there's that survivor that's been oh bothering us recently. Take out that corrosive zombie if I can. I'm kind of like hanging around the building if you can't tell. He he's got um not of an as accurate of a shot, so to speak. So I can kinda of like hide around corners. And I can shoot him and he can't really shoot me. Oh wow, that was actually super easy to take that dude out. I was expecting to have to work a lot harder for that. Um, can I drop the hiking backpack that I'm carrying around? It's just kind of going to get in the way of us doing what we got to do here. Okay, that looks good. We actually have our gun off as well right now, which is probably a good call. Let's just numb that pain a little bit. This is definitely not the enemy to be going into melee with. You know what would be really interesting is if like like in like Caves of Cud if we had like dismemberment. I would I would like to see that in this game. That'd be pretty sweet. Come on Nadir, I know that you're a tough one. But I got you. I can take you. 1v1. Come at me. Oh my gosh. That was epic, dude. Yeah, that's what my friend was just saying to me. He's like, that was so epic. He was just watching that on the cameras. Okay, cool. Um, gonna get that back on. And we'll get the stuff back up. Including our gun. In case you're wondering how I did that, I just did the comma while I had everything selected from there to go to our inventory. Um, I would really like to finish crafting this recipe if I can. Yes, cool. We're actually only 48% of the way done. So if I don't finish this with you with us, I'll finish it off camera. And I think that I need to just be doing more um, power. Oh, oh, hold on more power conscious um, policies. 
because I keep on having issues with my power right now. I just am I'm using more than my solar panels can can generate. But if you look at it, it's not super bad. I mean, we're actually generating. It says it's a day till it's full, but that's because I've got like my camera off and everything. And I I was actually thinking about this um, for like in real life doing one of these systems, like. I never would expect myself to be completely um, independent of like a power, like an energy grid, you know? Uh, go ahead, we'll kill the creature and whatnot. I keep on thinking that I've killed everything. I need to just be more thorough. Is there anything else? Where's that encrusted zombie? You're gonna come down here soon, aren't you? No? Okay, well, I'll take your word for now. But I, I, I know I'm gonna regret it. I, they're gonna be down here. <laughs> oh, I'm. I still have my mask on. I just realized that. Yep. Um, I, I called it, didn't I? Didn't I say he was gonna come down? Go ahead, get the gun back out. I kind of want to keep the gas mask on because it, in case I need to use it, it's already on. And it's not like I'm doing anything that uh, requires that I have it off, you know? And I've honestly, I've just like binged this game for like two days. Like I haven't even touched Bannerlord because I've been so excited about these mutations and getting this character all set up. I'm sorry if it this wasn't the most exciting, um, but I just hadn't, I felt like my other stuff wasn't quite at the point where I was ready to share it with the world, you know, like the, my recordings. Because I like to do a little bit of work between episodes for Never My Series. And I was like, okay, I'm not quite ready to do Banner Lord. I'm not quite ready to do Kenshi. I might as well do this, and I'm really enjoying it anyways. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting my freakishly huge Minotaur Man out there in the next episode and just have him just rip and tear through a city oh he's gonna lie down to for a little nappy yeah have a little nap we'll get you dressed soon uh no do not stop crafting get it done and it's actually night now okay well we'll turn on the light just to finish this up oh we also have a gasoline engine so i I could just top up with all of the cars around here. There's tons of cars. So I've got more than enough fuel star power isn't really a concern. It's more of like a, do I want to deal with it kind of thing. Yeah, wake back up. And I want you to use this. Yep. Let's go. And let's have a look at our dude. Wait, is that what I think it is? Can I swap positions with you or what? Like why, why is it not letting me swap? Come on, my man. I'm, I'm confused as to why he's not moving. Hello? Oh, he's back asleep. Let's go. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to come with me. He's like constantly trying to sleep or something. Yeah, he's he's just constantly going back to sleep, and I'm not seeing the message over him. It's kind of weird. Okay, in any case, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.